Hi everybody. Uh, I put a comment uh, last night on the internet and uh, I was claiming 1000 degrees on my uh, laser here. Gun tester, heat tester. And uh, I just, I don't know if you saw, but on the screen I just got 1025 degrees. 1000, no, wait. One thousand twenty forty-five, and it's beeping because it's exceeding the temperature. One forty, one thirty-four, one forty-seven. So one fifty. Yes, guys, one thousand degrees on my rocket stove here, and this is the tank with the cap on the top. Try to go and back it up because the zoom is at its maximum, and it's burning quite well. And uh, on the other side, on the side here, I have an air intake. And uh, the problem I got when I light it up, I wrote a message to uh, trying too hard. On the side there, I'm going to point with the laser there. On the side there, it's like a sponge. And the smoke came out when I first light it up to burn the inside. And lucky me, inside here I have a vent there. This is an old uh, small uh, poultry barn. I have a vent there and on the wall there I put some uh, some insulation in it, but that's a fan. I was able to uh, get the uh, smoke out, but uh, don't try this inside your house, people. It's, oh, terrible. But after the inside of the chamber got all light up, uh, then it was possible for me to uh, light it up again and work as it should be. And on the top here, I uh, was thinking of letting the air in by the back, but the heat that the tank here is uh, around 600 degrees here on the side there. Gonna put it up 640 and in the front here. So the air is so hot, it's get inside. And on the side here, temperature is saying uh, 75 degrees. It's cool. And what I like about it is uh, 1000 on the top, and uh, at the end there, I'm not running my fan anymore. It's about 100 degrees. I tested my dad's uh, stove in the basement and uh, the top of the stove reaches 650 and the uh, air on the is exit that it's in the chimney there you got around uh, four 400 degrees 350 to 400 degrees so you're losing a lot of heat and what I like about this here I'm not losing any heat at all 1000 on the top and about 150 on the pipe that goes out and uh, on the basement there, let me check, um, around 300 degrees, like last night. I tested it last night, I posted a, a message on my uh, other video and saying it was uh, reaching a thousand degrees and it really reaching a thousand degrees. So I'm pretty, uh, pretty glad about it and, uh, and for you trying too hard. Um, me, I'm an electronic technician, and uh, my brother is a computer technician, and I talked to him last night, and talking about putting, uh, he found a little computer for less than a hundred dollar there, and uh, we could put a sensor at the output, and a sensor in, at the input there, I'm trying, I'm going to seal there, the uh, what I was talking about, the side there, I'm going to seal it inside because air is getting in by there and um, I realize I reaching higher temperature getting heat from the front there from the tank so I'm thinking about putting uh, something on the top here to, to test how much hair is getting in with uh, they call that uh, cubic, foot, cub, cubic foot per minute there's a little tester there that you can uh, I could install how much hair 
is going in, going in how much hair is, would be going out and uh, the quality of the air in quality of the air out same thing put a control with the, how much air I'm throwing in and on the other side there where is my air intake for the afterburner I could put a little uh, a little sensor there too and a little valve to control the air coming in and uh, I'm pretty glad about it guys so uh, this is it for now thousand degrees and 50 degree 1050 degrees on that and it's pretty hot and I'm standing about two feet of it and I feel the heat it's terrible and here it was uh, let me check on the was about uh, 40 degrees when I came in right now it's it it's hitting 82 degrees on the on my uh, thermometer here and so uh, if you have any question uh, and uh, another thing I found about this is really really uh, the cement vermiculite mix is uh, fragile so when you mold this at the exit there I had a little bit, little bit difficulties with the, the exit let me light up a light here for you guys I'm gonna open the light here all right more light at the output here uh, I got a little problem I throw in water mixed with cement vermiculite soak it so much pretty bad it fixed the problem but um, I'm thinking about putting uh, water in here with uh, some uh, pipe going in maybe up there or maybe down there I found another thing it's not pulling as I wish it would be but maybe it's good to reach 1000 degrees there and 150 degree there no heat coming out and uh, another thing is uh, maybe it's because my air intake there is about at the same as the burning chamber where it gets in so I don't know if it's because of that if I should put a ring on my tank there cut a hole and uh, make a, an air entrance there and the vortex inside uh, it's quite amazing to see I might try to get a little piece of glass to put on there because uh, it's hard to I don't want uh, I need to put it down on the floor too as you can see there it's still standing on uh, the board and it's on some metal bucket there so I need to put it on the floor and uh, I'm just doing some little tests with it right now and that's it guys so if you have any question I said I would put little uh, videos every time I will find some up and downs with it we'll post videos and uh, 